Hey everyone, this is Brian Zabitsky from 10 Point Crossbow Technologies, and today we're going to talk about how to change out an OmniNock in a carbon arrow. Okay, so here's what you're going to need your arrow, a 1 8 inch in diameter steel rod, 26 inches long, a hammer, also a 9 30 seconds inch drill bit, your knock alignment tool, your knock, and then of course some slow setting. Uh, not glue like fletch tight. Okay, so the first step is to take the arrow and the 1 8 inch in diameter steel rod. You're going to feed that through the front of the arrow, through the insert, and make sure it touches flush up against the bottom of the knock. Then you're going to take your hammer and tap on the steel rod, and the knock will pop out. Okay, so the next step. Uh, is to take your arrow. You want to clean out any of the excess dried glue that's left over from the first knock. Uh, you want to make sure that gets cleaned out well because you want your new knock to seat squarely into the back of the arrow. Now that you've cleaned out the back of the arrow with your 9 30 seconds drill bit, you're going to want to actually mount the new knock. Now you'll use the knock alignment tool you're going to take the new knock. It's going to fit into the smallest uh, part of the tool uh, that's triangular shaped. And you'll stick the knock on the tool. You're going to want to apply some uh, epoxy glue that's slow setting. And then you'll take that and you'll insert that into the back of the arrow. And the knock alignment tool has three edges that match the three edges of your fletching you'll want to make sure that those edges all line up with the edges of the fletching. This is how you'll properly index the knock uh, to the fletching. Thanks for watching how to install OmniNox into your carbon arrows. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at www.10pointcrossbows.com or call us on the customer service line. We'd be happy to help you.